We got our hands on the Milwaukee M18 fuel self-propelled lawnmower and have been using the snot out of it the last few days. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's jump right in. So before we get into the performance of this mower, let's go ahead and take a little tour around what we've got here. So starting down here, we've got a 21 inch deck and when Milwaukee says this is a 21 inch mower, they mean the blade itself is 21 inches. They're not playing games with a 20.5 or a 20 inch blade on a bigger deck. So we do like that they've done that. We have rubberized wheels. So the outside is softer. So these have a better grip than most and they roll really nice. All four wheels do this. So it looks like they've got bearings in there. Either way, it's a very smooth roll whether you're using the self-propelled drive or not like that. It is a single point adjustment system and that's a little bit odd for a commercial level mower. Now this thing weighs 85 pounds with both batteries in there and you can adjust it from one inch all the way to four inches. There's seven different increments on there so it's going in half inch settings between one and four inches. Big deal here for Milwaukee is this is the first two battery system that they're using and this mower does require two batteries to use. It's a 36 volt mower using two M18 batteries. They do highly recommend using the 12 amp hour batteries, the high output batteries. If you do need to use something else, any M18 battery will work. You're just going to get the best performance and run time out of these. Looking behind the mower, you can see that we've got LED indicators on the back here. And this is really nice because while you're mowing, you can see how much battery charge you've got. It's gonna drop down one bar at a time, just like it does on the batteries themselves. You just don't have to open the door to look at the batteries. Now, before we leave the mower deck itself, one of the cool things in Milwaukee is they didn't just put LED lights on the front of this thing, they put them on the side as well. And this is something that we haven't seen before. When these guys light up, you end up with a full 180 degrees worth of LED light going around. So if you're working in those low light or no light conditions, early in the morning, late in the evening, you can actually see more of what you're doing. That's something that we really, really like. It's a lot more effective than most of the other LEDs we've seen. Milwaukee designed this as a three-in-one mower. So you can bag, you can mulch, you can side discharge. Now, one of the nice things on the bag is they did make the width of it so that it fits in between the handles. Makes it just a little bit easier to put on or take off if you want to switch. Now, like we expect, the mower does come with a mulching plug and it goes on just like every other mower. It slides in, closes off that circular section of the deck and then the door holds it in place so that it doesn't blow out. There's a lot of airflow coming from the blades and we did notice that if this is sticking out some, it'll push that, that plug. Now the side discharge is interesting because technically it's a rear install for a side discharge and you can kind of see these arrows help you direct how to install that. So it's going to slide on right there underneath the bar and then these arrows line up to let you know that you're lined up correctly. The door closes over that to hold it in place so it doesn't move while you're mowing. But notice where this stretches. So it's coming around to the side. It is going to shoot out to the side but it doesn't change the width of the mower. It's all contained within the width of the deck itself. So if you're going through those narrow areas or you got smaller gates and things that you're trying to go through, you don't have to worry about the lifting up the side discharge like you do on some mowers. Tool-free adjustment on the handle. These just flip very easily. There are three height positions to work with. I'm six foot two and I found the most comfortable one to be the middle position. Clint is, well, we'll just say he's a lot shorter than me. He also finds the middle position to be the best one. You can put it lower, you can put it higher, just find it wherever you're comfortable with it. And like we see on many battery powered mowers, flip the handles forward. Let those detents knock into position and you can store it vertically. Of course, in order to do that, you need to take either the bag or the rear discharge off if you're using those. The mulch from plug can stay in just fine. All right, and moving up to the control deck, there are several really interesting points here. Now, first of all, the presence bar, okay? Just like most every other presence bar, big difference is notice that it recesses into the handle here. So it's a little bit more comfortable when you're gripping the main handle. And one other thing to note about the way that Milwaukee did their drive system is you can engage the self-propelled drive without having the blades on. So just hit your presence bar, hit your drive, and you're good to go. You've got two different buttons down here. 
One is for the headlights, so like we were looking at before, just a simple on or off. And then there's this mode. This is a high lift mode. So normally when you're running the mower, it's gonna work like most battery powered mowers. Drops the RPMs down to as low as 2800 when the grass is light, but when that load increases, it automatically lifts it up as much as 3300 RPM. Well, this mode keeps it at its top RPM. Now that's not so much about power, it's about lift. So if you're bagging, your bagging is gonna be better. Or if you're running around the lawn during the fall trying to pick up leaves, it's gonna do a better job of picking those up because you're keeping that high even though the load itself is fairly light. So right here we have this roller dial that takes us from zero to four miles per hour on the self-propelled drive. Now four miles per hour is fast for any self-propelled mower. So even Usain Bolt is gonna be happy with this thing. Now, this is an infinite adjustment slider. There's no little clicking detents in between. I prefer the clicks, but this one is stiff enough that it doesn't bounce into a different position when you're mowing, but it's also not so loose that it's a pain in the butt to use when you're adjusting on the fly. So they did a nice job setting the tension on it. Over here, you've got the blade engagement. So push your presence bar down, hit the button, and your blades come on release it, blades go off. Now this will reach up to its max RPMs in less than a second, so that's pretty cool. And the other thing that Milwaukee's got going on is the self-propelled drive engagement here. It's a thumb bar, and you can see how it kind of naturally curves to the positions of your hands. Some people are gonna have an issue with a thumb bar because it's just using your thumbs and it, the spring in there is pushing it back against you. So after a while, it does start to introduce some fatigue. What I found when I was mowing is I was bringing my hands closer and closer in to use more of this part of my hand to keep it down. But one really cool thing that Milwaukee did here is not only do you have variable speed here on the roller wheel, you also have it here. So you can set your max speed on the roller and then just like a variable speed trigger, the more you push this down, the closer you get to that top speed. So if you need to slow down for thicker grass or you're coming up to a hill or you're coming down a hill, just ease up on that and you're gonna slow the drive down. Now, overall, this is a really well-built mower. There's not a lot of flex in the frame at all and it has all the earmarks of a commercial build. So what about performance? Now, first of all, let's talk about power. There's different ways to describe it. Some people talk about RPMs and like we said before, this will get all the way up to 3,300 RPMs but it's foot-pounds of torque that really tell the story because that's how much power the mower can keep going when the grass gets thick. The best battery power mower that we've seen so far has been 8.3 foot-pounds of torque. It does a great job and it actually exceeds most gas mowers, but Milwaukee has 10 foot-pounds of torque. It's monstrous. We ran it through a torture test where we haven't mowed in a couple of months and we dropped the deck all the way down to see how far the mower would, would go before it stopped because it was clogged up. It didn't stop, it just kept going. So now that we know that the mower has plenty of power, the next part of the conversation is runtime. So we got two 12 amp hour batteries in there. That's a total of 432 watt hours of capacity. Milwaukee says that they can get up to 60 minutes of runtime out of this. And the conditions that they set are they're taking one inch of grass off using mulching mode and they're running at three miles per hour. Now that's not what we did at all. We needed to take four to six inches off of our grass because we were anticipating this test coming and we ran for 43 minutes and 27 seconds. So compared to what we were cutting in Milwaukee's estimates, their hour long runtime seems just about right. Impressive runtime for the amount of cutting that we were doing. Now, what about if you're using that high lift mode? That's gonna drop the runtime by about 33%. So expect about 40 minutes on that. But remember, you're using that for your bagging, you're using that for your leaf collection where the, the load on the mower is a little bit lower. Now, if you're trying to stay in that mode, and do heavy cutting, you might lose a little bit more than that, but expect around 40 minutes. And the last part of the conversation here is price. And this is not a cheap mower by any stretch of the imagination. With two 12 amp hour batteries and a dual port rapid charger, this is $999. Now, that sounds really expensive compared to battery powered mowers, and that's true. But this is not a residential mower. This is a commercial mower designed for professionals who need it to either supplement what they've got on their trailer when they can't use a gas engine or to be a primary tool if they wanna have the batteries for it. So when you keep in mind that commercial level gas mowers start north of $800 and can run more than $1,300, $999 is absolutely appropriate for this level of mower.
Overall, Milwaukee did a fantastic job designing this mower, and it doesn't feel like a first-generation product at all. There is a little bit of room for improvement with some tweaks here and there, maybe for a generation coming up, but this is the most capable commercial-level battery-powered mower that we've seen so far. Look for this one at Milwaukee Retailer starting April 1st, 2022. If you have any other questions for us, feel free to leave those in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.